These skates and hockey gloves are on display in the lobby of the Canadian Museum of History. It's a small collection donated by Jim Nelson's family. Nelson's really daughter says it's an inspirational tell, um, story to share. Due to his, um, you know, he had, had a, um, a challenging upbringing growing up in the orphanage and, and you know, that he was able to um, kind of overcome a lot of obstacles very young in his life to um, to make it to the, the NHL and have a, a really long, successful career. Nielsen hailed from Big River, Saskatchewan, and managed to enjoy a 17-year hockey career as a stay-at-home defenseman. That began with the New York Rangers in 1963 and wrapped up in 1979 with the WHA Edmonton Oilers. Nielsen's son David says it was his dad's passion for the sport that pushed him to succeed. I think he had that going in, which really helped along the way, right? That kind of mindset, right? And uh, mm -hmm. um, to be successful, you know, to getting to the NHL. I don't know if dad had, ever worked, had it all worked out in his head or anything like that. Uh, what was going to happen? How could you? But once it happened, he had the smarts to, you know, have that kind of mindset, right, that really suits pro, pro sports. According to the museum's curator of sport and leisure, it's a journey and legacy worth being told. When we think about sports and Indigenous people, and even, you know, sports in general, often people think about famous first and, and, and the first one, but not those who came in between. And Jim Nielsen's also really unique for having... Um, Grown up in an orphanage and not a residential school, and yet in his story we can see threads of racism and the challenges he encountered as an Indigenous hockey player. At the orphanage, that's where I learned how to skate, and we play, you know, played the public school hockey, and uh, I just. Most of my winter time was spent on the ice. I don't know, I guess I was blessed with some ability and I was always on the ice, so you had, and we played a lot of shinny, so you know, you learn how to stick handle, handle the puck, it was turning, skating, we weren't, we had nothing like hockey schools or anything like that, and just, you just learned on your way up, whatever you picked up, you took with you.
is going to bring it on himself. Up over the blue line, up at center. Passed it back for Rattel, right on a Bond stick, and Bond shoots it. And Jackman leaves it there for Jimmy Nielsen. 10.53 remaining in regulation time. 3-1 to one for the Maple Leafs. Rangers with a man advantage with Bond in the penalty box. And it's too fair, back in the net. McKenney, McKenney shoots it down the ice. Going back for it is Jimmy Nielsen. <laughs> I think we've run out of figuring out what they're all serving penalties for what. Now here's Nielsen's shot. That was stopped by Lee. Lee clears it back to Bond. Bond back of the net. Over to Rick Lee. Got it over onto the right wing. Sealing kept it in. Trying to get around Ullman. Does. Sent it back to Nielsen. The shot goes into the corner. Just it back to the net. Nielsen after it. Ullman after him. Nielsen has it with 324 left. Now he comes out over his own line. Up the center. To the leaf line. Dropped it there. Sealing cleared it around on the board, but there was nobody there. Jackman cleared it back to Nielsen. 45 seconds left. Out of Maple Leafs leading 4-1. to one. Armstrong gets the puck. He's covered by Stemkowski. It goes over to Spencer. Spencer down the left wing. Gets it over the line. Still fights for it. It goes to the corner. McGregor is watched by Spencer. Play is ball. 